It's a new week and we have five days of blessing ahead. Don't you just love Mondays? You don't, huh? Most people don't like Mondays, do they? Because we don't like hard work. Well, I'm going to try and change your attitude. And so we're going to start this wonderful week, this wonderful Monday, by getting excited about life and getting excited about our work and especially about our business. Today begins our daily motivational. And I want you to come back every day. And if you don't feel like facing the day, perhaps I'll be able to encourage you and motivate you to get going. Solomon said, Pay attention to wisdom and stretch out your heart to understanding. What exactly what he was saying here? Notice he didn't say, work harder. Now, all of us know that it's much better to work smart than it is to work hard. That's true, isn't it? You need to spend a bit more time developing wisdom and understanding. And if you do that, you'll actually accomplish far more than if you spend a little longer time working. Well, what is wisdom and understanding? And what is the difference between wisdom and understanding? If you read through the book of Proverbs, you see these words all the time. Uh, so I'd like to just give you a, just a little explanation so that you can understand the difference between the two. And the difference lies in where they come from. You see, wisdom comes from your spirit within. Understanding comes from your mind. Pretty clear, isn't it? Okay, now, the important thing. How do we develop these? How do we develop wisdom? How do we develop understanding? Because if we develop these and we increase them, we become more efficient and we work smarter. And then we won't have to work harder. So, if you're complaining about all the hard work you have to do, and beginning this week again with hard work, learn to develop wisdom and understanding, and you'll get excited about your work, because your work is not going to have to be so hard anymore. You'll be working smarter, you'll be accomplishing far more. Now, okay, how? That's always the key word. Everybody tells you what to do, but nobody tells you how, do they? How do you develop wisdom? Well, if wisdom comes from your spirit, then you need to tap into your spirit. How do you tap into your spirit? Through words. Words. You see, words are the means that we have for expressing what is in our spirits. As human beings, we have the ability to speak words and tap into and release what is in our spirits. And if you know any of my teachings, you'll know that one of the most powerful ways of releasing what is in your spirit is through words and actions. So, to tap into your spirit, words. Well, what kind of words? The easiest way of tapping into the wisdom is through meditation and prayer. What's meditation? Meditation is not when you just go into this transcendental phase and go, hum. Now that's transcendental meditation. We're not talking about that. Meditation actually means to mutter to yourself. To mutter to yourself. To think things through and talk them through. To talk to yourself. I talk to myself all the time. I speak things through. And, and sometimes it helps just to talk out loud what you're thinking. You'll be amazed what pops out that you didn't expect to pop out. Now how do we tap into our mind? Through concentration. That one's a bit more difficult, isn't it? It takes a bit of effort. We don't feel like thinking. We like to just let our thoughts run and do whatever they want to do. But if you take control of your mind and through an act of your will, concentrate your thoughts, you can focus your thoughts and you can begin to develop a greater understanding of your situation. Okay, then what you do is this. You sit down and you write down what comes out of your spirit and what comes out of your mind. Okay, simple process known as journaling. You don't know how to journal, it's easy. Sit down, pen and paper, 
take out your laptop, uh, use your PDA, whatever you use to write on, spend a bit of time in meditation, in prayer, spend a bit of time muttering to yourself, spend a bit of time thinking and concentrating and write down every picture that comes to your mind, every thought that comes into your mind and some of the things that you find yourself saying, write them down and record them. You'll be amazed at the wisdom and the understanding that comes out. And then you can go and face the day and you'll find yourself working smarter instead of harder. Why don't you go and do that today? Start the week good. And I'll see you again tomorrow.